polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS is the commonest hormonal problem affecting fertility in women. Today we are going to discuss PCOS in details. To understand PCOS, let us first understand the basics of physiology. Every month, thousand eggs are recruited by the body for them to grow up and become a mature follicle. Only about 20 or so of these follicles survive after three months. These become the antral follicles. Of these 20 or such antral follicles, the body is able to select only one. That becomes the dominant follicle. That dominant follicle then ovulates and is picked up by the fallopian tube. In case there is successful contact with the male partner during this time, enough sperms travel all the way to the egg. They fertilize the egg, a pregnancy happens and that implants, the embryo implants in the womb seven days later. In case there is no pregnancy, then the womb starts contracting seven days later so that the endometrium lining that got prepared gets shed off after seven more days and there is menstruation. There are two major hormones who are managing this entire thing. FSH, a follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, a luteinizing hormone. They together ensure that a follicle is selected and the remaining follicles are rejected. The selected follicle is matured by the LH hormone and then is helped to be released by the ovum, by the ovary, to be picked up by the tube. In case that follicle does not give us a pregnancy, then there is menstrual flow 14 days later. So these two hormones have to be in the right proportions for the menses to happen on a monthly regular basis and also for a follicle to get selected. Remember, if there is no follicle, there is no egg and if there is no egg, there cannot be any pregnancy. In PCO, the big problem is that these two hormones, FSH and LH, are not working together. They are working against each other. In most normal women, FSH hormone is much higher and the LH hormone is much lower in proportions, which is good because FSH has to select the egg first, which is why it is much higher and then LH has got to mature the selected egg. But in PCO, for some reason, the LH hormone is usually very high. So what it does, it does not allow the FSH hormone to select the right egg. As a result of which, the selection process of the right egg in PCOS women is unnecessarily prolonged, at times even does not happen. So if there is no egg selected by the body, there cannot be any dominant follicle. If there is no dominant follicle, there cannot be any ovulation or egg. And if there is no ovulation or egg, then pregnancy definitely cannot happen. So to summarize, PCOS is excess LH hormone problem. Why does the LH hormone exist in large quantities in the body? We don't really know. There is a genetic reason for this, but there are environmental things also associated. And that's what makes PCOS such an interesting subject. 